everyone! Today we're creating this mini Christmas tree out of crepe paper. This tree is the perfect size to put on a desk or a table. This isn't a quick project, but I think the results are worth it. I started with a 16 gauge piece of floral wire. Then start by bending the end just like this. Then make another bend so it forms a triangle. Then bend the rest upwards and across and then bend it upwards again. So you have kind of a triangular shape and then the wire bends upwards. So it should look like this. And it's okay if it doesn't stand up on its own, we're going to fix that. So I have this set of mini Christmas lights that I got at Michael's. And you can see it has this battery box, one side has the switch and the other has this battery door. And set it so the battery door is on the bottom. And we're just going to take the bottom of the Christmas tree wire and hot glue it to the top of this battery box next to the switch. This will keep the tree stable and upright and also will hide the battery box. So it looks like this. Next I'm going to show you how I created the branches for the tree. So I have some 24 gauge floral wire that's green. And just unroll a length of it and cut it. And then just take it and tightly wrap one end of it around the 16 gauge wire. And it's up to you how long you want to make the branches. So just decide as you're cutting the wire how long that you want to make it. So once it's wrapped around, you can take some pliers and press tightly around it to hold it in place better. And then make sure that wire is sticking out straight. And then you can take some hot glue and also put it around where it attaches that will keep it from moving around. And so just kind of adjust the branch until you're happy with where it is. And you can also bend it if it's not sticking the right direction. And then you can just check the length and if you need to cut some off, go ahead and do that. Then I took a shorter length of the same wire and I wrapped it around tightly. And just use the pliers to flatten it so it will stay in place better. And you can use hot glue here also if you have trouble. And then you want them to be an even length, so trim off any excess on either side. And then you're going to go ahead and create two more of these, so you have three on one branch. And this will just be for this first level of branches. Next, cut a strip of green crepe paper like this. And then take the scissors and cut fringe along both sides. And you can stack multiple of these and cut the fringe all at once, so you cut multiple pieces at once. So it should look like this and just go ahead and repeat this all the way down both sides. Once you've done that, put some hot glue along the branch and press it in place. Trim any excess off the end. And then you're just gonna go along the branch and just kind of crinkle up the fringe so it starts to resemble pine needles. And if there's any places that are coming off, go ahead and glue those again. And then when you're happy with how it looks, we're going to repeat the same process on the shorter pieces. So just cut shorter pieces of crepe paper and do the same thing with all six of these. So it looks like this. And make sure that you have the branches laid out in this pattern like I do. 
with four branches. So now we're going to create the second level of branches. So I'm going up the 16 gauge wire about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And I'm just repeating the exact same process again. But this time I'm placing the branches over where there's a space between the branches on the level below it. So just attaching the wire. And then this level of branches will need to be shorter than the ones on the first level. Each level will get a little bit shorter. So keep that in mind. Just use some hot glue to secure it and you can spin it around like this before the glue dries and then when it dries it holds better. And then on this branch I'm just going to do two of those V's instead of three. And then I'm just showing here that I repeated this on all four branches. look like this and then I went ahead and covered those in crepe paper using the exact same process as before so it looked like this then I'm going to add another level making the branches shorter and this time only one V on each branch and again I'm placing these above where there's a space between the branches on the level below it and covered those in crepe paper so it looked like this And then I'm going to add another level, and this time there won't be any of the V's on the branches. It will just be a plain wire, just like this. And create four of those. And cover those in crepe paper. And then on the next level, I'm doing the exact same thing. So no V's and just a single piece of wire. And create four of those like this and cover those in paper and that will be the last level of branches so now I'm just going to create that piece that sticks straight up on the tree so I cut two short pieces of crepe paper like this and cut fringe down the sides then I'm just going to glue them onto the 16 gauge wire just kind of sandwiching the wire And then once you're happy with that, take some wire cutters and cut the rest of the 16 gauge wire off. And then you can take a little piece of paper and glue it to the top to cover the end of the wire. And that's it for the tree. So it looks like this. And then I have the battery pack on the bottom. Now the lights that I bought are white lights and I want to make them colored. So I'm just taking some colors of permanent markers, you can use whatever colors you want, and just coloring each one of those lights. Just make sure you get it completely covered. So in this case, I used red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I just repeated that pattern going down the light set. And I noticed the darker colored the markers, the better they tended to work. So it ended up looking like this when they're off. You can turn them on and see that they are now colored. Next, I'm creating a tree skirt. So I just have this polka dot red and white felt that I got at Joann's and flipped it over to the back. And then I just took this lid to a container that was about the right size and was a circle. And I trace that onto the back. And then just cut that out. And 
Then we need to just roughly find the center point of the circle. So you can fold it in half and just kind of get an idea of where that center point is and just make a little mark there. And then take some scissors and just cut a line straight to that point. And then you can just slip this around the wire at the bottom of the tree. And this will cover the battery box. So it looked like this. And to decorate the tree, I bought this mini tree topper, mini ornaments, and mini garland, all from Michaels. And to prepare to decorate the tree, I just took this extra wire that's at the end of the Christmas lights, and I wrapped it around the battery box and just glued it in place in a couple locations. And just make sure that this isn't in the way of the battery box being able to come on and off. This will just hide the extra wire and get it so the lights are in the right place to go on the tree. And I made sure that the battery door could still open. And then I just brought the lights up the tree trunk just like this so they're ready to go on the tree. So all you have to do is just decorate the tree however you want with the lights and the ornaments. And when you're happy with how it looks, that's it! I hope you enjoyed learning how to create this mini Christmas tree. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from my channel, you can click that round button to subscribe, and I hope you have a great Christmas.